and they just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. Hello, everyone. This is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and Jeff Jones has quit Uber. This is a big one, folks. Jeff Jones, um, the company president, the guy who was actually meant to handle people like you and me, the drivers, to assure us that Uber was going to improve as a company. The guy who actually coined the term the year of the driver in reference to 2017 and then, of course, uh, did a Q&A session that was supposed to last an hour and ended after, like, I think 15 minutes because basically... Even though he's like, I'll take any questions you want. And he wouldn't answer the two questions, the two concerns people had the most all. Biggest concerns. Tips and rate pay. Um, he just, yeah. So he had actually been awfully silent for a while. And since then, there has been controversy after controversy. And there's now two, at least two lawsuits against Uber. And one of those from like Google. Well, he resigned. This morning, according to, um, what is it? Recode? Yeah, Recode. This is what Jeff had to say. I joined Uber because of its mission and the challenge to build global capabilities that would help the company mature and thrive long term. It is now clear, however, that the beliefs and approach to leadership that have guided my career are inconsistent with what I saw and experienced at Uber. And I can no longer continue as president of the ride sharing business. Jeff said in a statement to Recode. I should also mention Jeff actually was a high up person at Target before Uber hired him. So that's interesting, I think. Also, according to, uh, not that one, Business Insider, um, Travis Kalanick sent out this email after receiving the news. Team, I wanted to let you know that Jeff Jones has decided to resign from Uber. Jeff joined Uber in October 2016 from being CMO at Retailer Target. In six months, he made an important impact on the company from his focus on being driver-obsessed to delivering our first brand reputation study, which will help set our course in the coming months and year. After we announced our intention to hire a COO, Jeff came to the tough decision that he doesn't see his future at Uber. It is unfortunate that this was announced through the press, but I thought it was important to send all of you an email before providing comment publicly. Rachel, Pierre, and Mac will continue to lead global ops team, reporting to me until we have signed a COO. Troy Stevenson, who leads com ops, and Shailen Amin, who leads brand design, will report to Rachel Holt. Ab Gupta will report to Andrew McDonald. Thanks, Travis. So, Uber has no COO. No, I'm part of the reason I'm thinking Jeff left, aside from the bad publicity, was because he probably could not reel in Kalanick. He was probably trying to the best that he could to tell Kalanick these are the issues and these are what we need to fix. But here's the thing. Kalanick, as evidence on the video that Bloomberg um, got, he does not care. He wants to be competitive. He probably takes any advice from the COO as a challenge to not do it. And, well, anyway, uh, Jeff, you're better than this company, I suspect. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I mean, the fact that you seem to know when to get out is a good indication that you've got a better head on your shoulder than most in this company. Uber's future is falling. It's like that old nursery rhyme my mom used to tell me. What was that? Ah, Uber bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Uber bridge is falling down. And we're all happy. Not because we'd be losing a job, but because other companies would obviously take their place. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uber. Uber needs a different philosophy. And they need it soon. Anyway, what do you folks think about this? Will you miss Jeff? Do you not care? Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.